You guys ever heard of Toys and Tots before? Uh, I have, yeah. Have you heard of Vincent Chin before? No, I haven't. I was uh, wondering if you happen to know who Vincent Chin is. No. Have you heard of Vincent Chin before? No. Have you ever heard of Vincent Chin? Um, I don't think so. Uh, no. Uh, no. 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 Not really. No. 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 Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No. 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 Have you guys ever heard of Vincent Chin? I sound kind of. It sounds familiar. Is he from Canada? No, he's, uh, he was from Michigan. He was a Chinese American who was murdered in 1982. That's before I was born. <laughs> <laughs>Folks who weren't even born when Vincent Chin was killed in 1982. It may seem like something that, well, that's ancient history. But unfortunately, there are just too many examples around today, even today, that are happening to other young people who face the same kind of prejudice and even physical attacks and even getting murdered in similar ways that Vincent Chin was killed in those days. So there's nothing ancient history or old hat at all to what happened to Vincent Chin. What just came to your mind as you were thinking about Vincent Chin? 9-11 um, and its impact on South Asians. Do you see any differences in the, in the reasons for the attack? No, not really. The guys thought he was Japanese when he was obviously Chinese and didn't think to differentiate just like that. Like um, Muslim terrorists who are on the list I mean, Sikhs get stopped because they have turbans and they're asked to remove their turbans uh, even though they're a completely different religion and completely different culture. And for them, removing a turban in public is like, you know, dropping your pants. So it's, it's a huge insult. Every time we see a hate crime, stand up against it. It doesn't have to be against an Asian American. It could be against a gay person or an Arab American person or some other minority person. Stand up. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, we must gotta remember Vincent Chin. It just shows what what can happen in, in society and what America is capable of. To me, it's almost equivalent of being uh, Japanese Americans being put into a concentration camp. It's like, you think about it, you're like, how could that happen ever? Like, how is that even possible? Where's the logic there? And I think the Vincent Chin case is one of those cases where you're like, where is the logic? What happened to Vincent Chin still haunts me because as an Asian American who was born in California, um, I have to a certain extent always felt a little bit like an outsider. And it's not my imagination that he was um, targeted for his race. It's not my imagination that thousands of Japanese were interned during World War II. When 9-11 happened and the Japanese American community was literally the first to come out and say, this cannot happen again. We do not want our South Asian American brothers and sisters and our Arab American brothers and sisters put in detention camps and strip searched and taken away from their homes and um, had their have their rights erased as Americans. That was probably one of the most beautiful moments of my young adult life. You know, um, to see another community come out with such vigor and forcefulness on behalf of another community because they had lived that experience. And that's why the Vincent Chin, the, the anniversary, the 25th anniversary was so important for us is because if we're gonna build forward and, and move ahead, we're gonna need to work together. And it's when we have these moments, when we did work together, that we need to sort of remember.